This week from Crumble Cookies, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Confetti Milkshake, Blueberry Muffin, Galaxy Brownie, Mallow Sandwich featuring Oreo, and Skillet Cookie. The cookies this week were provided to us free from Crumble, so we greatly appreciate that. Uh, we're coming out on a Tuesday today because they were closed on uh, New Year's Day. I hope everyone had a Happy New Year day, but I hope the rest of your year is, I hope you have a great year. Um, we, uh, we're going to be trying the confetti milkshake first. Uh, we, they were running late today, so, you know, you gotta uh, work out the kinks, I guess. But they were running, what, half an hour behind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were running about a half an hour uh, late today. Okay, it looks really good. Uh, this is a confetti sugar cookie rolled in rainbow sprinkles and topped with cake flavored buttercream and whipped cream. So you get a little dollop of whipped cream in the middle. Mm. That is a super, super soft cookie. Mm, it's almost like a, it's raw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wait till you see the picture at the end of this cookie. I mean, it looks it it looks raw. Yeah, I like that gooey kind of texture. Mm -hmm. If you don't like that though, you probably won't want to get this one. Now, at least in our location, now your location, where you bake more. I think it's perfect. Mm-hmm. It does taste like a sugar cookie. Mm -hmm. That's or, what it tastes like. It does, but the frosting does have that birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Vanilla. It does. Oh my god. It's it's sweet without being ridiculously sickeningly sweet, mm -hmm. which is good. Because some of their cookies are super sweet. It's sweet, but it's not over the top. That's good. The texture is just soft and soft and soft. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I didn't get it the whole time, but just now, I got like one little granule of salt. Just mm -hmm. one. Just random, but that was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going salt, but just one. <laughs> one just like it was somewhere weird. they mix it in. Yeah, just random. Um, I, I, the the flavor though is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Like Kevin said, it's very sweet, but it's not like over the top sweet. Mm -hmm. So it's not like too much. Um, it's perfect for me. I think it's really nice, and, and it does have a birthday cake flavor too. It does. The confetti pieces just add a little bit of texture yeah, to it. Crunchy, you really don't taste. They're not the hard, but they're crunchy. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um, so they keep the cookie. It's a soft cookie. They they don't make it. They don't give it like a crust. The no. Sprinkles. No. They they just it's just still soft. I and think. it's a sugar cookie, but it's not that floury kind of sugar cookie that has no. the flour flavor in it. No, it's a like sweet. That. It's a sweet sugar mm -hmm. cookie. It's really good. Okay, so the blueberry muffin. Now, do you want me to cut this to where you get some of the muffin crumble, or do you yeah, yeah, we want some crumble. Because I want to know, see, with you fooling with it right there, it looked more like uh, bread. I think it is. It looks like bread. It feels like bread. It says blueberry cookie. Look, it's dipping in the middle. Oh, of gosh. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, our cookies are very, very soft. Blueberry cookie with a buttery glaze and blueberry muffin streusel. This one's almost doughy. Like, it's almost... Like it's not been baked at all. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hmm. What's funny is, I was waiting on cookies. Mm -hmm. The blueberry one was not one I was waiting on. <laughs> yeah, that, um, some people would not like that. Uh -huh. I, and I can taste some of the flour in that. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell, it, it, I love ooey gooey. This is raw. Yeah, it's it, re raw. it really is What's raw. What's funny is it does have a little bit of a crisp, Edge, mm -hmm. but um, the center's completely raw. Yeah, it's not baked. Mm -mm. It's not baked as much as it should have been. Probably. Well, Kevin could pick that up right now, then and I can tell you, it's going to ooze out of the center. Did you see yeah. that? Um, because I bake cookies like that at home before on accident, mm. and that is not cooked. Yeah, and I think truly. When you get them, I think yours will be. Yeah, baked. yours will be fine. I think that was an issue today with whoever was doing the baking at our crumble. So, so let's just discount the, the that it's raw. 
The um, flavor's okay. It doesn't have a really strong blueberry flavor, but it does have some blueberry flavor. Yeah, there is a blueberry. You do taste the blueberry. Yeah. Um, it's okay. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. It yeah. really does. That I mean, it's, what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. There's nothing fancy about it. It just tastes like a blueberry muffin and a cookie. Yeah. So. Yeah, the one I was waiting on was the skillet one and the um, confetti. And the confetti's kind of soft too, but. Wonder what you were waiting on, like for them to actually bake them. Yeah, one of them was waiting for it to finish baking. Oh, okay. Like they had the timer still running. They said it had six minutes to bake. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, the third one is the galaxy brownie. It's far. Um, brownie cookie with a fudge glaze sprinkled with rainbow cookie bits. This one's pretty soft too, though. Yeah, but that's not raw. Mm -hmm. That blueberry was 100% raw. It's a really nice brownie cookie. Mm-hmm. Very rich. Mm -hmm. A little dark. Love the chocolate. Mm. Now, and if you like a chocolate cookie, you'll like that. Yes. Now, I do not personally think you can compare this to a little Debbie. No. A I don't. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, those little Debbie brownies were acceptable. I would, I ate those because I didn't know any better, frankly. <laughs> um, that's what my parents bought. And, well, you know, when mom and dad buys things and bring it home, you don't have a choice. That's what they, that's what, you, that's what, that's what you grow up on. So when I was little, those were acceptable. Now that I've grown up and I have my choice of brownies, um, I, I would, would never, 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 never buy a little Debbie Brownies. No, um, they don't taste that great. And if you want to compare that, um, just because it's called a Galaxy Brownie, I think theirs are called what, Cosmic or something, yeah. just because it has the little bits and stuff in it, it's not the same at all. No, this is actually better. Oh, oh yes, right. that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This, the, yes, this is a really nice, rich chocolate cookie. Mm -hmm. um, the chocolate on top has a good flavor. Um, it's sweet without really being sweet, sweet. Yeah, it, it's it's dark. Mm -hmm. It's it's dark, so it doesn't have uh, the uh, like a milk chocolate sweetness to right. it. But I really do like it. It's like a a, a really nice. A rich brownie mm -hmm. without frosting or anything, but the glaze does add just a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, I agree. Because we used to frost our brownies with like right frosting. Yeah, cake <laughs> they frosting. They were over the top sweet. Oh yeah. This is not like that. But I do like uh, how baked mm -hmm. that one is. Yeah, it's, that's a good texture. It's still soft, but it's it's baked. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. the next one is monstrous. It's huge. Yeah, it's, cut a bigger hunk as I have been. I was scared it was all going to slip out. It did seem that way, didn't it? Uh, this is the Mallow Sandwich featuring Oreo. It has a fluffy, creamy center with brownie pieces. So there's actually brownie pieces in there. Uh, sandwich between two chocolate cookies made with Oreo cookie pieces. Oh, that's cold. Mm-hmm. That's a really nice cookies and cream. You know what they could have called that? Ice cream. You know, Eskimo sandwich. Like the little um, sandwiches. That's what they used to call them when I was a kid. An Eskimo the, sandwich. Yeah, the little um, chocolate with ice cream in the middle. That's mm -hmm. what they taste like. It, it reminds, it seems like it would be ice cream because mm -hmm. it's so cold. Well, this is the flavor. It tastes like that. Kind of that cookies and cream kind of flavor. It's very much cookies and cream. I like that. It's good. <clears throat> I like uh, the filling. All is, the parts that's coming out. I like to eat those first, <laughs> and then eat the cookie. The um, the filling is kind of reminds you of whipped cream, but it's much much thicker than that. It's not whipped cream. If it was whipped cream, it would literally squash out of there the minute you try to mm -hmm. cut it. So it's thicker than that, but it, it does remind you of the flavor of whipped cream. I like that. It took. I like it too. It took me a minute to get the Oreo. Oh, see, I tasted it like. Mm -hmm. Well, it was that I cookies and cream flavor right off. Well, I'm eating all cream. Oh, see, I took a bite of the cookie. Yeah, I was eating all the cream from around the outside, and it makes then. Sense. 
<laughs> yeah, eat it all together. Yeah. Uh, no, I really like it. I think it's. Mm -hmm. I think it's. Um, very nice. Yeah, it's it's not as sweet as you would think it would be with all that cream in there. That's where I was going. Yeah, this is like I said, it's, it reminds you more of a whipped cream kind of sweetness mm -hmm. level. Um, like for me, if I was making it for myself at home, I would make it with buttercream or something. Yeah. So it's going to be like blow your mind sweet. As much as you get with that, it's very tame as far as sweetness goes. Yeah. I mean, there it still is sweet. Yeah, it's good. It's but it's good. just not like over the top sweet. I think it's a very nice cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, if um, you like cookies and cream, you'll like it. And those cookies are perfectly baked. They're not hard. They're not crunchy. No. Um, now, if I could see if that was overdone, it'd be a pain to eat. Yes, because if it was too crispy, it would... Um, Mush out all the stuff. It would, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then the last one. The last one's gonna be hard to cut. Why? I don't know, I gotta find a place cut to. Cut it right in the middle. Right in the center. I um, the center. He likes me to have a good picture at the end. Um, <laughs> ooh. Okay, skillet cookie. A semi-sweet chocolate chip cookie with vanilla bean mousse and a semi-sweet chocolate drizzle. All right. Try some of the mousse first. Oh. Good idea. I like the texture. It doesn't have much flavor, but I like the texture. Hmm. That's a perfectly baked cookie, too. It's soft, but it's not gooey, not underdone. It's just good and tender. It just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie. The really the the only thing that cream adds to it is a little texture difference. It makes it just a little softer, but mm -hmm. flavor wise, it just tastes like a chocolate yeah. chip cookie. I didn't get a lot of flavor from the mousse. Mm -mm. I don't mind it. No, but it's just supposed to be vanilla bean. So yeah, I don't mind it. It just uh, like you said, it's more about a, an added texture. Mm -hmm. um, it adds a creaminess to the cookie. Yeah, so this is really just a like a jazzy or uh, chocolate chip cookie. Yep, I like that. One. Um, I wish they had done it with milk chocolate. I, I like, it would have been a little sweeter. I like their milk chocolate chips, um, milk chocolate cookies. Um, that's so I like this one, but I would have liked it even more with milk chocolate. Right. Um, okay, what is the least sweet? Um, probably the blueberry one. Oh, the, the brownie. I don't know. I'm going to say the blueberry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. The blueberry, um, and as far as ours goes, I can, I mean, I'm looking at it now and it, it I think um, I can wish out stuff. Outside. Oh, you could. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, it, that honestly would, it would gross a lot of people out yeah. because it's raw. It's yeah. a raw cookie. Um, so that was. That's just our location, like what we said. I'm sure yes. yours is probably. Sure, probably yours right. is going to be fine because we've had this one before. We've had the blueberry muffin cookie before mm. we reviewed it in the past. Kind of fluffy and bread like. And it was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. It was perfect. Even the cookie on the top. It's kind of soft. Well, it's soft. If you remember when I picked them up, I called Tammy and was telling him I got the cookies, and I said the blueberry one looks a little wet. Remember he I did. Said that? He said it looks wet, and I said, "Well, it's supposed to have a glaze on it." And, and he's like, "Yeah." It did. So it's, now we know why it was wet yeah, because it's not quite done. Yeah, it's not quite done. Um, so which is uh, the sweetest? The sweetest. Probably it would have probably be the the confetti one. I think so too. Yeah, uh, yeah the the milkshake. Even now though it does not we'll... taste like a milkshake though. No, I think it's just creamy. I don't know. Yeah, it does not milk. like like a vanilla milkshake. I, that did not taste like a vanilla milkshake. That's all that came to my mind. No milkshake. Just like an iced cookie. Yeah, it's a, it's a sugar cookie, but it does not taste like like a milkshake. No. I don't know why the milkshake word is like there. a vanilla milk milkshake. I don't know. Yeah, because like the blueberry muffin, I do see that it tastes like. It, it 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 would have been more muffin like if it had been baked. Right. So that one I can go with. The milkshake portion, I don't agree with that. It's more like just a confetti cookie. Uh, but I, I do really like that one. Yeah. Which one? So we're ne we're definitely not picking the blueberry just because ours wasn't baked. Which I one? I wouldn't pick that one anyway. Okay. What would be in your top two? Um, I'd probably pick the mallow. Okay. Because I really like that cookies and cream flavor. I love cookies and cream. And I'm really torn between the skillet and the probably the confetti. I'd probably go with the confetti one. 
I think you're getting your money's worth getting that Mallow one because it's, it's so big. And it's the same price. This is the same price as this Galaxy or that one. It's the same price. Or that Blueberry. Yeah, anything. They're all yeah, the same it's price. The same. So. so, yeah. So you're it's not like really, you're paying 50 cents more or something. And when you open the box, when you open that box, that Mallow is like... Just oh my gosh, <laughs> it's, it's just huge. Yeah. So you're getting your money's worth with that. Just know that that filling is is cold. Yeah. So it's a chilled cookie. So. Yeah. Um, I don't actually like all of them except the blueberry one. Yeah, I do too. Oh yeah, the blueberry yeah is not for me. But I do like the uh, the confetti would the confetti one's my favorite. This yeah, it's I picked the one. What would be your number two? Uh, my number two. I'm gonna go confetti. And then the Mallow. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's the same, same thing. Yeah. yeah. So we picked the same ones. But I also really like the Galaxy one. So, and I really, I did, this would probably be my fourth is the, the, skillet. the skillet. Just because it's not super sweet. If, if, the, it, if they had used milk chocolate, but now there's going to be tons of people I who adore that because yeah. they want, they ask, please have the semi-sweet chocolate chip. That is for you. Yeah. Um, I, I think if the mousse had been a little sweeter, I would have liked it. I would have probably put it above the Galaxy, mm -hmm. but since it's not quite as sweet, I, I really do like a, that deeper brownie flavor. Do a, a, a milk chocolate skillet with a buttercream. Mousse, yeah. Buttercream. Or, or a buttercream frosting. But butter, no, yeah, that's what I mean. Buttercream frosting. Yeah. That would Forget be the mousse stuff. Give yeah. me the buttercream frosting. <laughs> they give you tied up it, though. It's just not very sweet. Yeah. But, uh, really good. Good variety. Good variety this week. If you go, if you get the blueberry, you'll have to let us know about yeah. yours. Um, I always have pictures at the end, so you'll be able to see close up what these look like and um, how impressive some of these are by the size. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.